I welcome you to this, as our colleague said, a journey for mankind. Tonight, if you be in the Keshe Foundation, you see something new. If you haven't been in the Keshe Foundation, you will see something which might not look real to you. This is the third ambassadorial meeting for peace, and we have seen the first phase of this success between the peace between Iran and the United States, which happened after the second meeting of the World Ambassadors. On the 6th of September 2012, when we gave the second ambassadorial meeting, the following on the 6th of November, on the re-election of President Obama, the American government asked for the key of the technology, and in that meeting between the Keshe yeah. Foundation, in that meeting, when I handed over the key technology to the ambassadors, I put the hand of peace from Iran to the Americans, and I said, this is the hand of peace. When they Let's talk. Been, uh, and we see two and a half years later, three years later, we have achieved peace. And now, with this new technology, we put the hand of peace to all the nations in one go. The way we put the hand of peace out is, we give you a new technology, and instead, we ask for peace. Cash Foundation is a space technology based, not the energy based. What we learn for space, we feed down directly to public for use, for creating peace. What you will see tonight is not energy for light or heat. This is energy which the man needs in any condition in the space. Food, material, heating, medicine, even creating new conditions to be able to live in. When we introduced this technology some four years ago, five years ago, in open, because it was nuclear-based, we were harassed and we called a terrorist organization. So, as I'm a nuclear physicist, I changed it to do the same thing without the present science ever detecting radiation. Some of you who don't know, or some of you who know, I have written a number of books, I have published a number of papers, I have with the help of a lot of people around the world, developed a new technology that allows man to work in the condition of a space. So, what you see is taken some 40 years to develop. The whole of people around the Cash Foundation and around the world are all waiting for this box. This box has become the holy grail of science. All it is, is a replication of sun. All it does, it releases plasma, that then the man decides what this plasma is going to be. So, if you ask around the world, this has never been possible. Creating energy, from free plasma has been a dream. The ones who've been around the Keshe Foundation can tell you it's very easy. What we've done, we have taken normal materials, and what we've done for the first time has released a molecular structure to atomic structure, which is a single atom. This is what you call nanomaterials. We have made it so much easy to make nanomaterials that in one of the videos on the internet, a Chinese five-year-old girl makes it in the house. This material has been tested by numerous organizations and has been confirmed to be what we say. But what we've done, we've gone a step further. We have allowed the matter in the atomic nano layer, atomic nano layer, to be separated into single plasmas. And all the supporters of Keshe Foundation around the world, they do it in everywhere you can imagine. What we've done is that now, 
Each plasma is like a sun. It's an individual entity. So, in fact, if you look into the structure of the plasma, the sun is a plasma. And these are the papers and documents. So, what it is, we have put the sun in a cup. So, what we have done is, now that we have these little suns, we do with it what we like. In a simple way, if you understand, is that when the sun releases its energy, as it slows down in different planets, on the Earth's atmosphere creates nitrogen, and in other planet produces what that might be, as it changes, reduces its energy. So what we do now is, we decide what that energy is going to be. And what you see, which this system is the beginning of a cycle. This is not the ultimate. This system is literally like a sun. It releases energy, plasma, in enormous amounts. It's you now that decides what it needs to be. You decide what would like the energy to end up as. If you like, in a simple way, you can make it into light. If you like, you can change it into food and fruit. You can change it into medicine. And if you want to use it, you can use it in a special new systems to create flight with no rocket approach. So, the strange thing is, this is surprising to you, if you have come, for example, from the United States to here, and you brought with yourself now a 110 volt system, you cannot use it in this country. If you brought or take a system from Europe to America, you can't use it. Because we share, we continuously decide what has to be done through electrons. The electrons' vibration dictates our power. For the first time, if you understood that you have a freedom with the plasma, you decide what that system going to use as you move around the world. What you're going to see today, it breaks all the rules of physics. But this is what the plasma is. You can have your European system, 220, and we have brought you a one system from one You don't need any conversion because the system converts as you need. This means a change in the whole philosophy of energy. You don't need adapters. You choose to create 210 or 110 or 240 or 12 volts literally at your will. At the same time, from the same terminal, as you can see, we brought you system that you can see. These are the European system from the same same flock, the same system. You can see you can run both. It is never been done, but it has a huge advantage. In third world nations like African nations. You don't need to spend millions for power generators, for dams, for power stations. And you don't need to wait for the handouts from the West. In the places of war like Palestine, you don't need to wait if they're going to repair your power station. You can do it yourself at home. You can do it with local materials. You don't need to import anything. And if you understood the change from 220 to 40 to 110 at the same point, you understand very easily you can change into the energy of an orange, a medicine, and consume it at no cost. This unit is made by Cash Foundation China, by the doctor. This is made by Armenian, 
American citizen, which creates left and high power flux. So, you understand one simple thing. This new unit, what we call MAGRA, which is magnetic gravitational, you can produce, create jobs and food and energy in your own nations. The only difference is, as the ambassadors you are here, we have done all the work for you. We give you the unit, the same as what we did before in the second world peace. We give you the blueprint. You take it home, you give it to your nation, you give it to your scientists, you give it to every citizen to produce it. You walk your nation into rich sum of food, energy and space and materials. It costs you in your countries less than $10 to a household to free them from everything. Cash Foundation person now in Ghana is teaching in Ghana to the Ghana Space Institute, Ghana Energy Center, Ghana Energy Ministry for the Ghanaians to produce this. Tomorrow, the head of Ghana and the Space Agency, Dr. Ghana, is here to take a unit for back to the energy ministry to start reproducing the units for Ghana to become energy sufficient within the next six to 12 months. Today in Nigeria, Cash Foundation member is teaching the Nigerian authorities how to produce this to make, to walk Nigeria out of lack of electricity, food and medicine. Behind you, there are members of Chinese Cash Foundation which are taking units back for the President of China within the next week to be delivered to His Excellency Presidency. Behind you, there is a member who's flying tomorrow to take a unit to His Excellency the President of Armenia and then the President of Georgia and hopefully within next week, if he's allowed, he flies to see President Putin to hand over one to the Russian government. Amongst you, there is a man who I respect highly. He sacrificed his life. He brought the solution of the Keshe Foundation to Fukushima. He helped TEPCO to be able to reduce the nuclear radiation in the waters of Fukushima and he's a mother. He will take a unit tomorrow back to the tomorrow back to Japan, to the Imperial Family of Japan, to distribute back to Japan. That now that they're short of energy in so many ways with a nuclear problem, they can support the nation. These are all members of the Cash Foundation around the world. We give you the unit free, but it has a condition. Use the unit, the knowledge, the energy, the food to bring peace in your nation and make peace with the rest of your neighbors. We give you access to all the teachings of the Keshe Foundation, how to make everything from the energy, the food, the medicine, free. One condition, help us to help you that by having everything your nationals need, it brings peace amongst us on this planet. There is a very big question and a problem for you as ambassadors. Last time, we gave you two years to share the knowledge with your people, till we open our patents worldwide for every citizen. This time, we give you 10 days. In 10 days' time, we open our patents. Teach every citizen on this planet how to make a unit, to be independent of governments, independent of energies, independent of medicine, independent of food. You want to test it, you can do it. You want to take it, you can do it. The Cash Foundation supporters runs into millions across the world. In every nation, there is a Cash Foundation supporter base for existing. So this time, you have 10 days, no more. If I open this box, you'll find out when people have everything, do they need governments? Then is there a need for ambassadors? Because when we have everything, we are at peace, we become one nation. Instead of spending money on arms, when you have no enemies, the money will be spent on the citizens. This is a very powerful system for Western nations. 
In Africa, in a third world nation, you can make it as small as this. It gives you energy for 30, 40 years. You don't need to recharge it, you don't need to refuel it. If you use it, you can have enough to feed yourself, to heat yourself, to light yourself at no cost. So, it's very simple. 10 days is long enough. It's how fast you want to translate the knowledge to your governments and tell them what is about to happen. I'll tell you something very simple. We are a modern technology institute. This is the USB stick with a full design, with a full specification, shows you how to make the system, how to connect it, and how to get energy from it. We will, for the countries which they need mass production, give you even the machinery to produce it. In one of the flips you saw the key, the USB stick, that's where all the patents were released. It's the same principle. Which ambassador would like you the first to receive the free energy?